Welcome to my 2018 top 10 games that I'm looking forward to. Now this isn't one of them normal top 10 wanky videos. Uh, there's actually going to be about 15 or 16 games mentioned here, but I'm going to concentrate mainly on the, the 10 that I'm most looking forward to. I couldn't find 20, unfortunately, in the whole of the year, or I would have done a top 20, but you know, there you go. So, first up guys we have sea of thieves now this is the cartoony game not to be confused with skull and bones which i'll also be talking about in this video the sea of thieves one it's multiplayer only guys you get on with your mates you get on a ship you start shooting other ships you can go on land there's blunderbusses and all kinds of weapons that you can use it looks fun it looks fun it, what put me off was the uh youtuber sellouts that had been paid to promote this game that were exaggerating how much fun they were having in the game that kind of put me off totally and um, they should have just let the game sell itself instead of trying to pay somebody to to lie about it but that's the way it is you know that's the way it is next up guys we have far cry 5 now far cry 5 i have mentioned this in a daily ding um, it is a game I'm looking forward to because I have liked the Far Cry series, but they are getting a bit long in the tooth now with their shitty UIs. But you know what? I would just like to have independent UI controls that don't affect the game difficulty. I hate when the UI controls is directly connected to the game difficulty because that means you have to have unrealistic bullet hit points to get rid of the markers. And that ruins the game you know when you have to shoot somebody a thousand times to kill them but that's the only way you can you have to turn the difficulty up so high that that's the only way of getting rid of these stupid markers so can we just have please mr ubisoft a way of disabling all this x-ray vision and marker bullshit but without having to have the difficulty on ridiculous so that we can have some immersion in this game because it, it does look fun some of the stuff you can do looks really fun it's the kind of game that you know is fun and it, it's it's co-op as well i believe so yeah i'm quite looking forward to it and we'll get that hopefully in april i think it is next up guys red dead redemption 2 now this is probably going to get game of the year off everybody who's on a console even if it's shit just because they think they should give it game of the year but yeah no we'll see we'll see i love the first one played it to death on the xbox 360 so i'm very looking forward to this i'm really pissed off that it's not on the pc because playing with a controller is like playing with one hand tied behind your back they are so shitty so inferior so bad compared to a mouse and keyboard but hey you can't tell millennials that can you but it's true it's true it's not fake news next up guys we have vampire now this is a third person rpg where you play as a vampire i kind of saw this about a year or two ago and it looked really fun i hate the fact that it's third person i would have loved to see this first person but you know millennials i've got it in for millennials this video haven't you know wh whoever it is to blame let's just blame millennials anyway uh it looks good it looks great having vampire powers and you can go around killing innocent people you know you don't have to kill innocent people you can go through the game without killing anybody apparently but should you wish you can go around biting virgins in the neck not find many of them though not these days next up we have jurassic world evolution this is made by the same guys who made elite i believe uh, frontier i'm pretty sure that is who made, makes this this is basically a theme park jurassic park you make your own jurassic park and you have to look after that you have to keep an eye on the dinosaurs and obviously things will go wrong at this park you got well what, what could possibly go wrong when you've got shitloads of dinosaurs all in the park and the dinosaurs look great them animations look really really good just like they did in in the in the movie jurassic park so it looks like they've secured the rights for this and uh, it looks like a pretty good game. I can't wait to play it. Uh, this is on, again, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. It's across Most of these games are across all platforms. Uh, so I'll be looking forward to this uh, when this drops later on this year. Next up, we have Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Now, I'm a huge mech fan. Um, I covered this recently in a daily ding, and this looks terrific. I mean, I wasn't massively into Mech Warrior. I was more into Earth Siege. But I still like Mech Warrior. I love Mech Warrior Online as well. So I recognise all the mechs in this. It does look good. I can't wait to play it. And it's going to have VR support from what I hear. So bring it on. Bring it on. It's one of the top games I'm looking forward to. But the next game, guys, is the game that I'm most looking forward to in 2018. And that is, of course, Mountain Blade Bannerlords. This is just going to be amazing. 
It looks terrific. It looks like they've kept everything that made the first one so good and just added more and made it look 10 times, 100 times better than it did. I literally cannot wait to play this. I just hope that this game comes out when there's no other games coming out for weeks and weeks and weeks so that I can just keep playing this because it looks brilliant. You start off by yourself, just on your own, and you have got to trade, you have got to bribe, you have got to hire and get yourself an army. And you trade with stuff that you get from the spoils of war. You do missions for people to earn money, to be able to buy and hire mercenaries. And eventually you get yourself a pretty big army, which comes prizes of archers lances swordsmen cavalry and all of this kind of stuff and you then command them all you command them all in and you've got so much command over them you can tell the archers to hold you can tell the infantry to move forward you can tell the cavalry to come up to your position you can you have way more in this way more control than you had in the other mountain blade so i can't wait to play it it looks terrific i can't wait i literally can't wait next up guys we have gtfo get the f off i don't know if that's what it means but i'm assuming it does and this one got under my radar but i was just watching this four player co-op looks very much like it's aliens kind of although it looks like more you're fighting zombies but it reminded me a lot of aliens it looks great this game i haven't really seen much of it but it's certainly on my radar now and i'll be having a good look at this and i'm going to be reviewing all of these games by the way guys but this is a one that as soon as i saw it i thought wow it's ticking all the boxes here co-op first person aliens or zombies lots of guns lots of gunfire and really nice looking as well so there you go guys gtfo that might be one to keep an eye on as well next up we have another we have another um mech game this is battletech now this might not appeal to a lot of you guys it's more for the mech enthusiast it's a turn-based game looks like it's heavily strategic in the loadout of your mechs as well for the specific missions that you go on it'll be a very slow game it's one of them games when you have three or four hours to spare and you just want to get stuck into something that's when i generally play turn-based games but yeah battletech does look good it's certainly on my my list of things that i'm looking forward to and finally on that list guys i have railway empires now anyone who played transport tank tycoon tycoon back in the probably the 80s or 90s was it um terrific game great game uh, this looks like that it's not cheap i think this is about 30 odd pound so it's not a cheap game but man it looks terrific it looks really good it's another one of them games where you need hours and you just build up your whole empire you trade you make money open more railways that looks like there's a shit ton of research that you can do it looks like a really immersive and great game and so there you go guys that is my top picks now there are other games coming out in 2018 i want to give a mention to metro exodus because this does look all right but i'm scared that it looks too scripted the scripted in the video for example that you're looking at now could well be just specifically made for this trailer but i don't think it is i think a lot of this is actually scripted bullshit in the game and the also there's talk about multiplayer and i hope it doesn't get multiplayer because this game was these are one of these they should leave these single player games alone keep them as single player games um, but we'll see what it, what happens. It does look damn nice though, doesn't it? Let's hope it runs a lot better than the other uh, Metro games. Uh, but that comes out as well uh, this year. Now, we also have Skull and Bones that I mentioned earlier. But man, why would I get this when I can play Black Flag? I mean, it just looks like Black Flag, you're stuck on ships. You, there's no land combat from what I'm aware of in this. The ship combat looks great, but it was in Black Flag. So... I don't know. I don't know about this. I mean, it's probably going to be £50 known Ubisoft. And is it just the Black Flag combat with ships where you can get bigger and better ships? I don't know, but we'll find out when I do my wab on it. Another one that I'm going to mention that comes out on the PC, but it's out on the Xbox and the PS4, I believe, first. At least I'm, I don't know if it's out. I know it's out on console, but I don't know which one, if, not, if it's on both. But that's Monster Hunter World. <sighs> Guys, it looks rife. It looks absolutely awful. It looks fucking rancid. What the f the, It sounds awesome. It, it sounds amazing. Monster Hunter World. You are this monster hunter. <gasps> and then you look at the gameplay and you think, what the f is this shite? You know, follow the little flies around. The glowy flies will take you to the monster. Yeah, they'll take you to the monster that, that, that clips through rocks. And you've got this annoying woman's voice, like one of those, you guys, you're going to go in here. 
it just the combat looks wank it just looks shit it just look evolve remember evolve I, I called that didn't i didn't i call evolve i got hammered off the evolve fanboys but i called it i totally called it i said exactly what it was going to be and you know what two months later everybody was agreeing with us and i'm saying the same with monster hunter world it's just it's going to be a hype 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 pile of shite and finally guys oh the crew two the crew two guys <laughs> do you know do you know something guys i'm losing faith in triple a developers but well, i lost faith in them a while ago do you know what a feature of this game is do you want to know what a feature feature do you know what they've added as a feature it's a feature the bragging about it in the video a feature a feature of this game is the ability to morph from an aeroplane into a boat by the way you can instantly switch between ground water and air vehicles with our brand new fast fave feature this allows you to fully enjoy all the new perspectives the crew 2 has to offer using only one button that's called a bug mate it's not a feature that's an actual game breaking bug because what that means is as you're playing this game you will never ever be able to get immersed in it ever there's that's just killed any and every bit of immersion in this game and that's the trouble guys with triple a games that's the trouble with triple a games and modern game developers these millennials they make games games that's when they're making a game that way. It has to be a game. Remember, it's a game we're making. Let's make it a game. And that's why the games are shit. Because back in the day, they didn't used to think like that. They used to think, right, we are making a game, but let's make it as real as possible for that immersion, for that sense of realism, to put the player really there, to make them believe they are there. And that's just missing now. It's missing from most games that I've mentioned in this list. And that's sad. That's sad. 